Hey everybody, it's it's been a very long time since I've seen you last, about a month and a half. The reason I haven't been uploading was my schedule became pretty busy. I think just with like the pumpkin season, a couple of carving requests that I didn't make time to record. And on top of that, I've moved into my tiny home and there was actually a substantial amount of work left on it that needed to be done. Uh, I got it all done. I've moved in. So since I've moved in, I've been carving pretty constantly and uploading to Instagram uh, on the daily. If you don't know what that is, my Instagram is chainsaw underscore artist. You can find me there. I will be consistent with uploading pictures of my work on a daily basis. Some small little videos will be put up there. Um, as far as the weekly uploads go, I will be making a bigger effort to get those done now that I the stress of moving into the tiny home is gone. I'm here. Uh, life is better. And I can focus more of my time and energy on making these videos. Um, when it comes to the videos, um, actually, I did got a time lapse of a, was it a raccoon carving that I did for a couple, it was like two days ago. I got the video for that. I'll start playing that in the background for you. But as far as the videos that I'll be posting in future, they will be, can, they will continue to be tutorials, right? But instead of just doing like a giant block out of a carving and then just putting vague details on it I kind of want to focus more on let's say doing an eagle's head and then I can go on a step by step on how I bring out the features of an eagle and certain aspects of the carving that need to be more flashy uh, how I attain those details um, I think that'll be a little bit more interesting for you guys and it also helps you focus in on your skills when it comes to doing the fine details because on a big carving it's the it's really the fine details that make uh, that make the final piece what it is um, aside from that I'll let you guys enjoy this little time lapse and I'll catch up with you at the end of the video
Raccoon carving. Uh, she turned out real nice. I actually blew myself away with how this guy turned out. All the others are kind of like, yeah, they could be better, I think. But all in all, together, it's a great piece. Uh, the customer, I offered to finish it, like seal it and do all that, but they have uh, decided not to do that, which is okay because uh, the way I present my carvings, right, it's a hundred dollars a foot. And then the finish goes on top of that because it's a whole nother process, right? So, there she is. All right, so I mean, that was that, was that carving. It was pretty good. Uh, I like the way it turned out. I think the two bottom ones, like I said there, could, could probably have been a little bit better. Um, for my next video, I'm definitely probably going to be doing a tutorial uh, a little bit more in-depth on carving an eagle head and getting it to look kind of semi-realistic. There is a lot to go over, so I'll probably just jump that into one video. Um, in the new year, I will be uploading a video of my tiny home. Uh, I don't have a time lapse and I don't really have a lot of pictures of the whole construction. Uh, it was more of like a weekend project that happened over uh, the last year so try to search see what I have but uh, anyways thanks for watching guys and always keep on carving <laughs>